Hey, I'm David from Hybrid Racing. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install our new uh, Acura TSX shifter cables. The new Hybrid Racing shifter cables for the 2004 through 2008 Acura TSX and uh, 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord. So a little bit of a different design compared to the Acura uh, RSX cables, which you know use regular clips uh, down on the brackets, but these actually bolt to the transmission bracket. So they've got a couple of new pieces on it, and uh, yeah, we're going to show you how to install it into the TSX. Begin by removing the pocket under the radio. Next, remove the center console trim. It's only held in with clips, and it may be a bit difficult to pull out. Now you can disconnect the seat heater switch. Now use a Phillips screwdriver and remove all of the Phillips screws that hold the console to the car. Now remove the coin pocket and unplug the 12 volt socket. Now remove the two screws inside the armrest. Remove the wire harness clip and unplug the 12 volt socket. Unhook the e-brake boot and slide the whole console backwards. Now you can lift it and remove it from the car. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two amplifier mounting bolts. Use a flathead screwdriver and slowly pry up the corners of the shifter cable retaining clip. Spin the shifter cable counterclockwise and slide it up out of the shifter. Now remove the retaining clip. Under the shifter, pry the metal clip apart and slide the cable off the end of the shifter. In the engine bay, remove the air filter or the air box to gain access to the top of the transmission. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove both shifter cable mounting brackets. There are two on each cable. Once the bolts have been removed, slide the cable forward out of the bracket. Before you can remove them, remove both shifter cable retaining pins. You'll need to gain access to the shifter cables under the car, so remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the dust shield in place. Now you'll have to locate the shifter cable mounting bracket. It's tucked up above the exhaust under the body of the car. Now you can pull the shifter cable grommet down pulling the cables out from inside the car. Now you can remove the shifter cables fully. Pull the cables out from the engine bay and make sure the bracket doesn't catch on anything along the way. Now you have the hybrid racing cables and the factory cables next to each other. 
make sure that you orient the hybrid racing cables the same way. You'll need to transfer the factory rubber grommet to the hybrid racing shifter cables. We recommend using a silver, sharpie, or paint pen to mark the line and use a razor blade to cut slices into both sections. You'll also have to remove the metal bracket, so make sure that the cables are oriented the correct way and the bracket goes back on in the exact same location with the same orientation. Even with this bracket tight, you still will be able to adjust it and, and move the cables through it. So it's not a huge deal if you don't have it exactly right because you can still adjust it when it's in the car. Now that the bracket and the grommets installed, you're ready to install them into the car. Fish the cables back down through the engine bay, above the transmission, and above the subframe. Install the cable end link onto the gear selector to hold it in place. Now go back under the car and insert the shifter cables up through the hole in the floor. You can do this one at a time. Now it's time to reinstall the shifter cable bracket. This might be tough to do, but make sure that the cables are oriented in the correct way. Now install the cable grommet. Work your way around the edges and push right in the center and it should pop into place. With the cable bracket bolted on and the grommet in place, you can now reinstall the heat shield. Back in the engine bay, use the supplied 10 millimeter bolts and secure the shifter cables to the shifter cable bracket. Torque the 10 millimeter bolts to 8.7 foot pound. Now inside the car, it's time to install the shifter cables back to the shifter. Install the shifter cable onto the shifter using the supplied pin. Rotate the other shifter cable in link so that it lines up correctly with the lower section of the shifter. You can thread the nut back in place and use two wrenches to tighten it together. Once it's tight, you can install it onto the ball at the bottom of the shifter. Now you need to insert the C-clips that hold the shifter cable in place. The space is tight, so it may be difficult to get these back in there. We use the end of a socket to tap the shifter cable clip back into place. You can use pliers or other hand tools to install the other cable clip. Once the clip is in place, your cables are now installed. Row through all the gears and make sure everything feels great. If everything's good, you can now reassemble your car. 
be sure to contact us directly if you have any questions. Check out our website, hybridracing.com.